Hey guys, welcome to Protein Treats by NutriCell. I'm Melanie and today we are making all of the chocolatey goodness. We are making chocolate avocado and chia smoothies. And I know you're thinking, oh, uh, that sounds really weird. I don't know if I wanna put avocado and I definitely don't know about putting chia in my smoothie. Don't worry, trust me, I'm a chocoholic and you are gonna love this decadent smoothie. So let's get started. Okay guys, make sure you stick around to the end because we're gonna show you just how much sugar and how many carbs you're saving in this recipe at the very end. And we have a special surprise for you. Some of our viewers have been sending us amazing before and after pictures of how they're doing, so we'll have that for you again right at the end, so stick around. Now, this recipe, so, so easy. Now what I've done is I've taken one tablespoon of chia seed here, but as you can see, it's like a little bit of a gel and that's because I put some hot water in it, about two tablespoons of hot water, and I just let it sit for about 10 minutes or so before we started making our shake. I've also got two tablespoons of cocoa powder, make sure it's an unsweetened cocoa powder, and then you want half an avocado. Now you could use a whole avocado if you want, I'm just using half an avocado for this recipe. I've got about a cup of ice or so, and I have a little over a cup of unsweetened milk. So I'm using an unsweetened uh, coconut milk, you could use almond milk, you could even use a soy milk if you wanted. Just try to stay away from anything that has sugar in it. And then of course we've got uh, four scoops of chocolate neutraline that we're gonna be putting in. What's so great about it is it has 10 grams of prebiotic fiber and 30 grams of 100% whey protein in each serving. So this is gonna be a power-packed smoothie for you guys. So I'm gonna start here with my ice. Just dump that right in. And then I'm going to add my chia seed next. And you can really see here how it's a little bit, um, almost like jello, it really gels up. And that's part of why your smoothie is going to be so nice and thick. It's also why you're gonna feel so full. I mean, chocolate, and a lot of people don't know this, your dark chocolate has tons of antioxidants in it. So really, really healthy for you. And of course, not only does your avocado have lots of healthy, healthy fats that are really great, they've been shown to help you lose weight and stay full, but what's so great about avocado is it's also very high in fiber. So it's the fiber that keeps us really, really full. So when we put our four scoops of chocolate neutraline in here, you're getting prebiotic fiber and that's been shown to help you lose 228% more fat. Plus it actually makes the protein work better. Your body can absorb it over a longer period of time. And that means that it's a lot better for you than if you just have protein on its own. And just because we have a little bit of cocoa here, I like my chocolate to be a little bit sweeter. You don't have to do this, but I am gonna add just a few drops of liquid stevia. Okay, let's put our lid on and work some magic here. All right, look at this, you guys. It is so nice and thick. You are gonna love this. I'm just gonna pour it out here. Oh. What's so wonderful with all of that chia seed that you have in there, not only does it make it super nice and thick so you have that milkshake taste, but it's so good for you. It's a nutritional powerhouse. But I think I should taste this and see how our yummy smoothie turned out. Mmm. Mmm. Chocolatey, yummy. This should not be good for you, but it is. It's like I'm drinking dessert. That's why you wanna subscribe so you can lose weight with all these super yummy treats. And of course, comment below. I always read your comments. I love your feedback. And tell me what you want me to make for you. I'll see if I can healthify it for you. All right, you guys, have a great Friday and we will see you back next week.